Genius's Live. Tech Genius and Excellent Experiments. Magic and Mayhem. Facts and Fun. Stacy, have you ever thought of bursting a balloon with an orange? I've thought of hitting a balloon with an orange and then it bursts. Well, there's a bit of an easier way. There is? Yeah, and I'm going to show you in today's experiment. Yes! Let's get started. So for this experiment, you're going to need orange peels. And of course, balloons. So I'm going to hand you an orange peel. Mm -hmm. And what we're going to do is also make sure you do this in the daytime when, and tell all your family members like that you're going to do this because they'll be scared if you don't. So, Are you sure this is going to work? Yeah. We're going to squeeze the juices from the lemon peels out onto the balloon and they're going to pop. Like really like intact? Yeah. Are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure you want to do this? Okay, okay let's I, go. I want to hear it pop. <laughs> oh my, my And as I told you, it is really, really, really loud. I'm going to do another one. Pop. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> pop. So the orange peel has an oil called lemonin. Oh, which weakens the rubber and makes the balloon pop. Yeah. Oh, I get it now. We really, 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 really enjoyed this experiment. Even though it hurt our ears a lot, we really enjoyed it. Yeah, and make sure you do this at home, but do it outside. It's yeah. very, very loud and very um, scary. <laughs> so do it outside and tag us at hashtag Simmers Lab. This is Seth. And this is Stacy. And this was Simmers Lab. So Stacy, do you like hoverboarding? I love hoverboards. I love how they move around. Well, today we're making a hovercraft. Yay, let's get started. So what you'll need for this experiment is a CD, balloon, and a top with a hole on it. And if you can't find one like this, ask an adult to help you cut a hole on a bottle top. So beforehand, we had an adult fix this bottle top on the CD with cell tape. And now we're going to, okay, well now Seth is going to blow up a balloon and put it on the bottle top. We're going to twist it so that the air doesn't escape before I fix it onto the bottle top. Yeah. And if you can do it, an adult can help you. Yeah. And let's go. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> so Seth, how does this work? So the air from the balloon pushes out through the bottle top and makes the CD hover. Whoa, that is so cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We really, really enjoyed making this hovercraft. And you should try this at home because it's very fun and, you know, it doesn't need a lot of materials yeah. and it's just very efficient. And remember to tag us at hashtag SemasLove. If you'd like to check out our other videos, you can click up here. Mm -hmm. This is Seth. And this is Stacy. And this is SemasLove. What's up, guys? Welcome to Seven's Lab. Today, we are finally using Seth's hair. Wait, for, for one. Don't worry, you're not gonna cut it or put it on fire. <sighs> okay, let's get started. So what we're gonna need are balloons, some small pieces of paper, and Seth's mane. Yeah. So first, he's going to rub the balloon on his hair. Really rub it. And then gonna put oh okay. On top of the paper. So the papers are supposed to like float. But I guess my hair is a bit too oily today. How about you try yours? Let me try. Okay. Oh my. Okay. Okay. Oh it's working. Oh it is? Okay. Let's try again. It worked. I might have over rubbed. So guys, we took other balloons because the other ones weren't working as well, so we just got some other ones. So now we're going to rub the balloons in our hair. Is it working? See guys, you see it working? The papers are like hopping on the balloon. Okay. I'm gonna rub it again. 
Not can. Whoa. That's really cool. So Stacy, how does this work? Well, when you rub the balloon on your hair, it creates a surplus of negative charges. And when you put the balloon on, on top of the papers, they get attracted to the balloon and then they lift. That's really interesting. I didn't know that. Yeah, that's what happens. Wow. We really, really enjoyed this balloon static electricity experiment. And I hope you guys do it at home because it's very easy. You just need the balloon, your hair, and some pieces of paper. And you can also use a ruler because the ruler works the same way as the balloon. This is Seth. And this is Stacy. And this is Sarah's Lab. <laughs> Seth, aren't you just tired of blowing up all these balloons? Yeah, and look how much we have left. Wow. I wish there was a way out. Luckily, there is. In today's experiment, we're going to be blowing up balloons with vinegar and baking soda. So, the ingredients are a bottle of vinegar, baking soda, a funnel, and of course the balloons. Yay! Let's get started. Okay, so first you want to take the funnel mm -hmm. and insert it into the balloon. Just like that. And then you're going to put some baking soda. Put a little violet in and you shake. So that it can go in. I think that's enough. Yeah. Okay, so now the next part. Mm. You put the balloon on the bottle. So it's going to be very hard, so we're going to remove our gloves. Only for this part. So we put the balloon here. So we expand the balloon. Put it like that. <laughs> oh my god. You need some help? I think I got it. Ha. Then we're going to lift the balloon. Ready? One, two, three. Ready. Whoa. Whoa. I feel like it's going to bust. <laughs> you just didn't get it a little bit. Oh, look at that. That was so cool. Oh it saves God. time. <laughs> so, Seth, how does this work? Well, okay, so the baking soda is a base while the vinegar is an acid. Oh, so when they mix, they form a solution that breaks apart into water and carbon dioxide. Yeah, then the carbon dioxide fills up the balloon and then we get this amazing end result. Wow, this was so much fun to make. We hope you enjoyed too. So this was Simmer's Lab with Seth. And Stacy. Yeah. Thank you Bye. for watching. Make sure to subscribe. See ya. Stay connected with me on the Super Summer YouTube channel.